Welcome to Margaret being Margaret. First thing I had to do is check my teeth today after the fiasco. <sighs> it is 3.30 in the afternoon on Sunday. I have eaten everything in the house that's not tied down. I didn't want to do yard work today. I was on strike. But if I don't do something, just had a bowl of ice cream. I've got to get outside and do something. So I'm going to go outside to the shed and get my 100 foot cord. And we're going to be out front. I hope, I think. This is going to get plugged in to my bedroom socket that way I don't have to drag it so far. outside. Okay. I've got the trimmers. And because I'm too lazy to walk down the stairs and around, we become a circus act for a minute and do a tight walk. Okay. Then up and over. This is the first tree that I want to do. It's way too overgrown. I loop that just so it doesn't fall out as often. It still falls out all the time. Tomorrow is cleanup day. I needed to get it away from the house. They get way too close and way too big. This is going to come down just a little bit. Last year I cut it too much. <laughs> I'd rather too much than too little, but it really doesn't need a lot this year. This one is getting tall too, not too tall. Okay, that should be it. Let me show you what it looks like from the road. So that, it's away from the house, which is the biggest deal. A lot of cleanup. And then from the road, that's not as wild. It's still big. They're, they won't get up so out of hand that I can't handle them. It's a lot of cleanup though. That's the front yard. Backyard. I don't think, I don't think, true words were never spoken. I don't think that I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to start with that great big one right there. That needs it. This one desperately. And then the other one's a little bit. I don't know how warm it is out. I know, fix the pants. Put them over a layer of fat. Oh. Okay, the one I did is good. I don't know that I'll get to three more. I'll get to one more. And it's not that that trimmer is heavy. It's a little bulky. It's that I have no muscles. Although for a little while there, I felt like I had a lightsaber. Anybody in the States having family cookouts? I want to know because I want to be jealous. I'd love a hamburger on the grill. I, I don't have a, a gas-fired grill because it's just me and that would be useless. But a couple years ago, I bought a regular charcoal grill, but a decent sized one because I didn't want one that sat on the steps. I wanted it on legs and they didn't have anything small on legs and I didn't have anything to put a small one on. So I got the big one, got the charcoal, took some foil, tinned it into quarters in there and put charcoal just in this one little corner and tried to cook Hamburg. It didn't work. I was being way too stingy with the charcoal and by the time they cooked enough they were like little hockey pucks. I wasted like a pound of Hamburg trying to get that to work. So somebody's got to take pity on me and get me a Hamburg from a cookout before the summer's over. I don't know if anybody has any 
tips for indoors because I would love the charcoal flavored hamburg. You know, cats are causing. I haven't found anything. I tried no, the what is it, George Foreman grill years back. Nothing does it. You know, for me to buy something when I want them maybe twice a year it makes no sense. And to go buy one now at a outdoor restaurant or something, it's like ten dollars for a hamburg. I could get a pound in the buns. Back to work. That one looks good. I like that. That will be okay for the rest of the summer now. I'm insisting this out of breath. Breath. It's for my lung capacity. Not because I'm out of shape. It's more out of shape than lung capacity. There's a whole lot of sitting going on in my life. You know, I listen to everybody talking about my prescription for my inhaler. The pharmacy called me today to see if I was satisfied with my order and I talked to them about money because it's $297 for a 30-day supply. I opened it this morning and almost had a heart attack that it was only 30 days. He gave me the phone number and the online site. He said you can apply right online for assistance with that company. Well, when you go there to apply, unless you're a physician, you can't. And then way over in the corner, I found a small site for patients. And you make out the questions and they'll get back to you. But if you're on Medicare or Medicaid, you're ineligible. How is that possible? Who needs it more? So I'll call the doctor's office before I refill it. But I came so close to lying and saying I'm not on Medicare. But I can't do it. Can't do it. It's working so well, but I cannot do $300 a month. I hate this. I hate this. You know, I've never had money, but I've never been looking to save a dime everywhere I turn. Of course, nothing costs a dime today. That's the bigger problem. I also broke my own cardinal rule today. Don't breathe too deeply because I didn't take a shower. I think this is the first time in 20 years that I didn't take a shower one day. And I knew I was gonna be outside and I knew it was gonna be blooming hot. And I feel like a slug. All that means is a shower before I go to bed tonight instead of in the morning. And I'll get back on track in the morning with another shower. When I went to Hannaford yesterday, get a double thing of raspberries. Those are probably my favorite things in the world, as far as any kind of fruit goes. But, you know, I'm thinking I'll have them for two days. No, nah, I rinsed them off and sat there and pol polished off a full bowl. And I got blueberries. That might be tonight. I'm gonna try to tackle the last two. I think I can. Yeah. <sighs> it just looks so much better to get the... And I wanna see the fence too, the fence. <laughs> fence was expensive. I want to show it. I just have to do my cleanup. Not the raking. Are you kidding? I'd lose my mind. Just put away the, the cord and the trimmer. I'll be back. We haven't had any rain for the last couple of days. This year I only put a four tomato plant. Last year I had a jungle. The only dilemma I have now or I have a dilemma with all the clippings. It's gonna be a couple of huge bags of them. I don't have any place to get rid of them. I could put them in bags and put them in the car, take them to the salon and put them in the dumpster there, but they're gonna be all buggy and I don't need to get my car full of bugs. <sighs> Though I suppose I could do that tomorrow. That was a good hour, hour or two maybe, I hope. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for helping. If you like it, please subscribe, like, and share. That would help me out immensely. And I'll see you the next time. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves.